Hey guys, welcome back to another lithium ion cell testing video. This one here is an NCR 18650B branded by BXE and it's showing a 3200 milliamp hour capacity. Many of you like to purchase these cells to rebuild battery packs for your portable power tools and the most important thing is you'd like to know what the real capacity is for these cells. As you already know, the majority of these cells are grossly exaggerating their capacity rating. So we're going to test it to see how close to 3200 it is. The one you see here is from a Ryobi battery pack that's rated 1.5 amp hours. In case you're wondering the weight difference between a Ryobi 1.5 amp hour cell and the BXE, Might be hard to see, but it's 39.79 grams. And the BXE is 36.4 grams. So about 3.39 grams less. Okay, you can see right here, I have the 18650B cell fully charged in this cradle that I made a while back on my channel. If you haven't seen the video on this, a link has been posted at the end of this video. Once this positive is connected to this terminal over here, you're going to see the voltage of the cell displayed right over here. I'm going to be discharging at a 1.5 amp rate and the test is going to run until the voltage drops to 2.8 volts. Up here at the top, you're going to see the amp hour capacity for the cell when the test is completed. Okay, the test just completed. 1.208 amp hours at a one and a half amp constant current discharge rate which is well below 3200 milliamp hours. Now I'm going to test another one of the cells out of the six it's fully charged and I'm going to be using a slightly lower discharge rate one amp to see what kind of an effect it has on the capacity rating. Here we go. Okay, the one amp constant current discharge test has completed and you can see at the very top where it says capacity 1.255 amp hour and that's only a little bit higher than the one and a half amp constant current test. So you're going to be expecting around 1.25 amp hours from this cell. Because these cells are low in cost, you could pick up six of them for between $12 and $14 shipped. If you had to swap out the cells and a cordless power tool that used 1.5 amp hour cells, it would definitely make a decent replacement with just slightly less capacity. And guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now you know the real capacity rating for these cells. Thanks for watching.